Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the, uh, we're going to call this the G Money Show After Dark. It's in the evening, and I want to uh, talk to you about something that t- was not an intentional topic for this, for this, but I think it became a valuable topic. So what I'm going to do is try and research this while we're on here together. And um, so I'm in a, a face, I'm in a lot of uh, Facebook groups and some are camping related and stuff like that. And this one camping related Facebook group, I'm not going to mention it uh, directly. I don't know. Maybe I could, maybe I, I probably could, but. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I need to protect them. I don't know. In case people have negative, I don't want people to go over there with negative comments. You never, never know what happens sometimes on this platform, but I will read to you uh, what my question was to this, this group. And it says, hello members. I'm currently moving from Southwest Florida to the Pensacola region in a couple of weeks. I need free, I need comma free or cheap place to boondock overnight in my van. I would prefer a WMA or something similar. Thanks in advance, Gary. And then, uh, so I've had a lot of uh, uh, responses. So I would like to read to you some of these responses. And now, mind you, this was kind of like for a geographical region, but there's some of these, these answers could help you in uh, your overall nationwide destination, so to speak. So I'm going to try and read some of these. Um, I think the way that these are going to appear or the most recent are going to be at the top. So I'm just scrolling down. Uh one lady said I would stay at Cracker Barrel and have breakfast in the morning. So, you know, I obviously replied nice, politely. I do like Cracker Barrel, you know, and, I, you know, I have no problem doing that. So, uh, so uh, one person replied, uh, usually a Cracker Barrel or Walmart parking lot is okay. Overnight, I see RV at both, at both in Port Charlotte, safe travels, only eight hours to Pensacola, make, make, make in, in a day. So I reply to him, and then another person replies, uh, loves truck stop. Um, Then there was uh, another gentleman. Hold on one second here. Let me not lose this here. Another gentleman said, there's two campgrounds in the Black Forest on lakes. Google map it, and they'll pop up. And so then... um, there was a bunch of replies to that, and that was really good information too. That was really I'm not gonna read all the replies, but that like I'm just trying to give you an idea of if you do an outreach to people and, and you might be able to save some some dollars and also ex, you know have a new uh, you know exploration adventure type deal. And then one lady, um this I haven't checked this out yet, so I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, one one lady named Peggy said, "Check out uh, Camp and Diem or RV Parky, Camp and Diem or RV Parky." I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, then um, another lady replied. Uh, she says, "Bear Lake, Hurricane Lake, or Cruel Lake are." Forestry service campgrounds near Milton, which that's the exact area I'm looking for. So I was very appreciative of that. So that's really cool. And then uh, a lot of people were, were kept the, the consensus was like Cracker Brow. That was a really cool thing. So um, a lot of people um, were saying Cracker Brow. And I remember seeing some Cracker Brows. I've I've visited them quite a few times. I love their retail store. I love their their dining. Some some people I some friends of mine, close friends of mine, do not like eating at Cracker Barrel, but I don't know why because 
you know, I always found my experience quite pleasurable, you know, but my, my, my not, it's not like a mandate or anything, but it would be helpful. I, I'm sure if you were near the, the main store and my perception based on what I've seen in the back, I know the cracker barrels I've seen, they kind of have like a big parking lot in the back. I never knew it, it was for that, but I'm curious if their Wi-Fi would reach that back parking lot. If that was the case, that would be like huge, huge, huge in my uh, sanity and tranquility. Uh, another lady uh, replied, Wilderness Landing and Blackwater State Forest is free. They have nice showers and bathrooms, but no water or electricity for campsites. Like that's another, another, like, man, that is huge. That right there is like, maybe one of the best suggestions I received because that's kind of like big on my, my list. And uh, now, mind you, I don't know each one of these, excuse me, but a lot of these places will allow you if it's, if it's like a uh, wildlife management area or uh, what they call my uh, BLM. Now, don't quote me on both of these. I know the WMA does this. I think they're both basically the same thing. But they will allow you an extended stay up to like 14 days or something like that as long as you register and, and you, you file the proper protocol. So that's really good information. So like I, that's what I'm looking for. I would love to find a location where I could stay for 14 days and until um, I get on my feet because um, like especially with this one with the showers and bathrooms, that's like valuable. That's very rare. That's very rare that you can get free showers and bathrooms. You're, you're, so, you know, that like I would even drop a major donation just for that uh, that opportunity. So I'm looking for that. So um, another person uh, said, are you looking to stop along the way or boondocks when you get there? So I did reply and I think I know where this gentleman's getting to, uh, but he 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 said um, basically uh, he would private message me. I we had a little bit of dialogue, so I think I know what he's getting to. Uh, but it, it's pretty cool that you can reach out to a like-minded community and uh, get some successful positive results. Just by using, you know, like the internet, you know, it's like a lot of, you know, I'm not going to have the, the opportunity to stay at, first of all, state campgrounds at this time of year with all the snowbirds coming south, they're really hard to book. And like you almost have to book them way in advance. In the panhandle, it may not be as difficult, but for different things like this, that's really good information. So a lot of the information provided, like the Cracker Barrels, probably are going to be really good information. So that's that's helpful to me, you know, like in a major way. So if I need to, you know, do whatever I need to do in the van, you know, I don't know what their hours of operate. I think they open around 6 a.m., something like that, which is good. I don't know what time they close. I'm, I would assume... 10 or 11 at night, whatever. So those are good hours of operation to be conducive. If you need to use the restroom, go in there, get some snacks or get a meal or something like that. Obviously, you know, every Cracker Barrel I've ever been in, they don't have showers. But if, if, if you need to do your business and prefer not to do it in a bucket, like I'm going to be doing, you know, then and it would be, you know, valuable. So, uh, like I said, some of these other locations could be really, really prime, underrated, unknown, uh, valuable resources for people. So you you may have them in your own state, which is really cool to know. So like, like you know, uh, recently I did a video. I forget which video it was, but, you know, like I'm, I'm trying to rebound. 
in a tough situation. So I, you know, I haven't posted a lot lately. Um, you're probably going to see this on uh, October 8th, which would be a Sunday. And I'm, I'm doing it October 7th at night. But like, I, I feel like when, when you post a video on YouTube, you should hopefully do some things. You're, you're providing valuable information of some sort. You're, you're um, informing the public of something. You're, um, you're, you're, you're hopefully bringing informative information. When I say informative, it could be, uh, you know, comical or whatever, or you, you're just, you're just sharing your life, you know? So like, there's so many different avenues you can do with, um, YouTube, StreamYard and, and Facebook. And I don't, I don't do a whole lot of the other platforms, but it, it, it's, it's really cool to know in a short period of time. It, I will say this in this one platform on Facebook, this, this one group that about camping in Florida, um, I did, I did uh, make the post and it took them a little bit of a while. I, I, when I said a little while, it was probably over 12 hours to get approved. It might've been longer, 12 to 18 hours, whatever. Once I finally got approved, then, then the, it, you know, I was accepted into the system. They, they saw that, uh, my my question was not, you know, derogatory or harmful or whatever. But I, I really like the input I've received thus far. So as we're talking, I'm, I, I see that I'm still getting input. And I'm going to, you know, it's 8.35 p.m. on October 7th. I'm probably be gonna, going to bed soon, uh, probably within the next hour. And I anticipate that I'm probably going to get a lot of notifications overnight. And I'm going to feel guilty about that, that I'm not replying to each and every one as they're coming in. So uh, just to give you an example. Uh, all right. So one lady, just, just, just as an example, uh, to check out Pilot Fl Flying J, they are offering RV hookups for overnighters. This gives you a place to fuel, shower, park, or whatever. And that's, and then I think there's some type of uh, thing deal with um, Good Sam's Club or something. They have some uh, collaboration or something like that. So I'm pretty sure that one's not free, but it's, it's a good, you know, valuable resource, you know, like if, you know, so it's good if you want to use your showers or whatever, you know, maybe you could find a parking spot somewhere off in the, you know, the wee background or something like that. But anyway, so that's all I'm sharing tonight is um, it, it's great that you can reach out to people and so many valuable resources can be received just by using the Internet. You're like in the old days when I was growing up, you had to send out a pigeon and hope it came back within, you know, a week, you know, with the answer. But now we, we have this thing, this valuable resource called the internet. So I'm grateful for that. And I just want to share that little bit of information with you guys. Uh, you know, this, this could help you, you know, it, it like what I said, this topic was basically about uh, boondocking and camping on the cheap, you know, but what, what other, you know, let's, I'm going to whip out some hypothetical off the wall thing I know nothing about, but is there a, a droning station near, you know, you know, is there a droning group club near, you know, somewhere near Michigan or, you know, Quinnisec, Michigan or something like that, you know, or beautiful, Utah, anywhere out there, you know, or, you know, perhaps somewhere in Wisconsin near a, you know, 
like a clovers, you know, like just there's there's so many things you can do. A lot of people aren't going to catch those the last three little digs I just did, but the people that know are in the know. So anyway, with that being said, I thank everybody for listening to my mumblings. And uh, I'm I'm happy for the, the input I did receive from my question in that camping group. So, uh, so that kind of gives me a little bit of hope a little bit of inspiration, you know, and hopefully there is going to be light at the end of my tunnel one day. So uh, try not to give up. You know, it's, I know it's hard. Trust me, I think about giving up all the time. Uh, when you feel like giving up, dig a little deeper, try and find another solution. Unfortunately, the world goes uh, you, you you can't get by on free passes. You, you need United States currency. So that's what's kind of like my big hiccup going forward. But I just want to share my message to you. There's there's valuable resources out there and people willing to help you on the free. Sometimes all you have to do is ask. And like on Facebook, that was super valuable to me. So that's my uh, closing salutation to you guys. I appreciate you guys. Uh, listening, helping me. And if you, if you guys want to add any input that I, I'm not aware of that maybe somebody may not put on Facebook, I'm, I'm all ears too. You know, it's, it, it, I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, it's like my philosophy has always been even prior to my recent struggles is uh, the basic philosophy of life should be people helping people and the rest should fall in place after that. People helping people. That's my closing salutation for tonight. Thank you. God bless America.